Hey guys, how's it going? Happy Sunday. Cheers to you. Mm. Before any of you start getting all freaky, this is iced tea. Again, let's remember though what I said. Am I gonna have an occasional Diet Coke when I feel the urge? Which is pretty much every day. Um, no, not when I have the urge every day. But yes, I will. you might occasionally see me have a Diet Coke. Big deal. This is actually unsweetened iced tea. Honestly, you guys, unsweetened iced tea, I don't put a thing in it. I don't put any Splenda, any Truvia, any nothing. Um, and in fact, because I'm so lazy right now, I've been buying this. I just got some at the grocery store. Um, unsweetened. I thought you could get like grocery store brand too. I'm gonna have to look into this since it was $2. I don't know if that's expensive or not. My sister's much better at tracking what you spend and what you don't spend. She'll be like, I can't believe you paid $2 for that. And I'm like, what are you talking about? And she'll go, it's supposed to be 50 cents. I'm one of those people that's like, what do they call it? Um, it's funny because I've been in sales all my life and they say I'm a salesperson's dream because I walk in, I'm like, oh, okay, sure. Oh, that too, okay. I'm working on becoming better at this. Anyway, I'm shooting this vlog because I actually shot two vlogs at the end of last week and I didn't make them public because I was in quite a pissy mood. I mean, probably the worst mood you guys have never seen me in for a while. I just, I think you all know, remember last weekend was the weekend that my water heater died, my computer died, and then I had the whole like affliction with the uh, uh, tanning lotion thing going on. Um, and then it was just one thing after another last week, you know, busy, busy, busy. And then let's see, just to get, I don't know what I've shared with you or not, and forgive me, went to church today and then after church I went to get my eyebrows done so my bangs are all kind of like in my face whatever um she always wants this with my face um but uh what was I saying oh my god I totally lost my train of thought oh with the water heater so getting that water heater installed you have to have a freaking permit a building permit just to get a damn water heater installed so I had to you know make a special trip to go over to my beloved um, city of Carpentersville because remember this is like the same city that um, turned my water off when I was gone that four weeks and forgot to mail the bill and I was two weeks late two weeks late lived here four years two weeks late one time and they turned your water off not even like a warning like hey babe by the way looks like you might be missing your bill this month seriously seriously um, so I had to go pay $25, and of course, you can't pay it online, and of course, they don't take credit cards. So apparently, I live in Little House in the Prairie, though. Um, so I had to go over there, write a check, because apparently, they'd rather take a check than a credit card. Write a check, then they had to come here. The guy comes to install my water heater, and then they get here, and they're like, oh, it's not gonna fit, it's not gonna be code, it's not gonna be regulation. I'm like, I don't think you understand that I'm at the end of my rope, and if you don't install something today, I'm probably going to cut you and your friend up in little pieces and hide you in my entertainment center. I didn't say it in that way, but I said it in a way that maybe made him think twice to tell me, I don't have that in my car. Because whatever the model was that I had to move up to or upgrade to, he's like, I don't have that in the truck. I'm like, you don't have that in the truck, really. <laughs> maybe he started to see me like, grabbing a kitchen knife. You don't have that in the truck, really? I don't think you know what kind of week I've had! So, um, for those of you just tuning in, I'm totally kidding. Someone will take me seriously. Um, so then that happened. Then I find out that I have to have an inspection after they install the water heater. So I have to have some guy come here on Friday to inspect it. And guess what? It was here all day Friday, and I walk out the end of the day Friday, and there's a thing hanging on my door that says, oh, we were here to do your water inspection, your water heater inspection, and now it's a $50 rescheduled fee. So, of course, I call my realtor, and I'm like, please, please just tell me, for the love of God, that I do not have to have this inspection before I close on this house. Because I hate the city, I despise them for being so absolutely absurd that they are going to make $75 off of me just so that somebody can replace my water heater. And he's like, yeah, sorry, you have to do it. So, 
By the end of last week, when I was shooting some vlogs, they were very angry and um, yeah, I decided not to put those up because I didn't have anything nice to say. And then there were some people too that were really pissing me off last week that I kind of went off on on my vlog, so um, I decided to take the high road and not put it up. But um, anyway, I, sorry guys. She really did something to my hair. Plus, the fact that she just did my eyebrows and they're all like waxy and kind of burny right now means I'm covering them up. So, um, one of the things I wanted to tell you is, I think I might have referred to this, but I started running last week, as you know, because Valerie was telling me that um, she preferred to have me running for cardio as opposed to plyo. It's all about leaning out my legs and I'm taking her word for it since I've already lost an inch off both thighs and an inch off my waist, and an inch off my hips. Um, and I'm on my way. Um, so that said, plus you guys know I enjoy running. And I'm approaching running um, in a much more calm fashion last, than, than I did last time. Last time I was so excited when I finally was able to run and I did my 5K and then I immediately like hopped right into an immediate like 12 weeks from that first 5K. I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do my first half marathon. A lot of people do it. I'm not saying that you can't do it. What I'm saying is that as you can tell, those of you guys that have been maybe paying attention to me for a while, you can see that I go from like zero to 250 and I'm easily distracted and it tends to be better for me if I, you know, kind of calm down and pursue something more long-term. I don't know if it's the long-term, um, but all that said is the last time, I, I don't even think I took time to let the running settle in, and then I was training for something that I really, in my opinion, didn't, <laughs> didn't have time to train for, um, and it was rushed, and then, I don't know, I think I just like, I would like to run a half marathon, because it's on my bucket list. And I, I love the idea of it, I love everything about it. I just, it was kind of one of those things where I tend to be like a cat or maybe like a child. I'm admitting this. If you tell me it's a Saturday and I have to go out and run a long run and I have to do whatever it is, you know, a two hour run. If you tell me I have to do it that day, I don't want to do it that day. I want to do it on Sunday. And then it'll get to Sunday and I'm like, so if I have more, time and it's not so much pressure like you absolutely have to do that I don't know it's a mental thing with me so all that said I'm gonna pick a um, probably a rock and roll marathon towards the end of the year and then because Val doesn't want me to start training that much for the marathon yet but I'm just letting you know for those of you that have been like oh my god oh my god are you gonna do a marathon chill out people I love you but I want to make sure that I'm doing it and you know chilling out and not making myself get too excited and too balls to the wall too fast that I don't like running anymore. Ugh. Anyway, the other thing. I went running today because I didn't do my cardio yesterday. And the reason I didn't do my cardio yesterday, that was the first time in starting Val's program that I haven't done my workout as planned on the day. But see, this is another reason that I didn't vlog this weekend. Um, Friday I slept over, I was babysitting, and I slept over, and I literally, literally, I kid you not, I got zero sleep, probably like an hour of sleep. I was so tired after the cumulative effects of having no sleep living in this house, um, to no, having no sleep that night. I was so absolutely beyond tired that I was driving to get my nails done on Saturday, and I, I felt like I was going to fall asleep in the car on the way there. And so I got home. Want to do my? I came home from the sleepover Friday, Saturday morning, and I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go do my run. And by the time I was driving home, and I was so tired that I'm like, I literally, for the first time, am totally serious. There's, like, I knew that I was going through that dialogue in my head. Are you just, you know, whining and not feeling like it? I, honest to God, felt like I could not physically run. I was that tired. I also felt like I needed a nap. Crawled in bed. Of course, that didn't last long went to go get my nails done, and I was literally so tired when I came home that I'm like, there's there's just no way. Went to bed early, then I got up today, went over to the track. Um, I actually didn't do the track, I did um, the trail along the river that I like. Now, here's the thing. Today, it was interesting. By the time I went running, it was, I think it was like 87 degrees out, and I found that I, I did my warm up, so my both my warm up and like the three miles, um, I did it all in 36 minutes. So I think I was at 
Is that like four and a half, five miles an hour? I'd have to look at it. Forgive me. Um, but I was definitely more, remember I told you guys with me and running, it's never about the cardio capacity or my muscular, like my legs don't ever feel like, oh God, I, I can't keep running. My legs are going to give out. It's always my cramping. Today, I was really, it was pushing it for me, cardio wise. That's the only way I can describe it. Like, it's pushing it for me. So I had to keep stopping, but I would only stop and I would time myself. I would stop for like 30 seconds, then I would start running again. And I would say I stopped probably five or six times, but I did it for like, you know, 30, 40 seconds at the most. Is there something on my nose? I can't tell if that's a shadow or not. Anyway, um, so it felt good, but here's the thing that I thought about on my way home. One of the things that's helped me with my, um, I don't know, mindset, if you will, um, in making maybe this whole fitness journey a little bit more fun and a lot less stressful, a lot less like freaking out about what I weigh right now or, oh, why did I only lose half an inch and not an inch or something, is this, I, and I didn't, I didn't go into this going, I think what I'm gonna do is treat myself like a science experiment. But the more that I'm tracking my results and comparing like this week versus last week or mornings versus evenings, I don't know, something about it is making me feel like I'm my own science experiment. Like today, I was, I, I just kept going after my run. Like, I wonder why today I had more of a challenge. Like, why did I have to stop more often than when I was inside? Is it the weather? Is it the humidity? You know, and, and so I came home and I created a notebook and I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna have a, a running notebook for, for my runs and record what I do, record my time, record how often I've stopped and so on. And it's, it's like, I think if you look at yourself more, because really each of our bodies, metabolism, our, our capabilities. Remember I was telling you about yoga. When I'm in a yoga class, there's things that I can do that, I haven't been doing yoga even a year, but there's things that I can do where the person next to me is falling all over the place. And then there's things that they're doing and they make it look so easy and I'm literally like putting 17 pillows under me just to be able to go like that. So if you, if you take a step back and you go, interesting, you know, I wonder why my body can't do that. And then you work on it and in, instead of criticizing yourself for not being able to do it, you just go, okay, what's it gonna take? Like for me, I know my, uh, my grip is weak. That's why I have problems with doing pull-ups. My grip is weak. That's why when I do deadlifts, I can do really heavy deadlifts, but what it will give out, it's not my legs, not my glutes, it's my grip. So I have to use, for the moment, I have to use those, um, whatever they're called, straps. Um, and, and then you work on that. And then it's kind of interesting because you, you're focusing on what your weak areas are and making them better. But I guess I've found for myself that the more I'm tracking this kind of stuff and observing myself as like, wow, this is interesting. I wonder, I wonder what I'll be able to do this week or next week. It's less about like, oh, man, you know, I'm not keeping up with that person or I'm not, um, I thought I would do this. It, it's less, you, do you see where I'm going with this? Like, um, in the past, so much of what I did was criticize myself the past couple of years. You know, you don't weigh what you used to, you're you're not doing what Amy's doing, you're not doing what your blogger friends are doing, you know, and everything was just about feeling like a failure instead of looking at what I'd accomplished. And when you treat yourself and your workouts this way, and you actually look at it like, look what I accomplished, look what I did compared to last time. Maybe maybe this mindset started getting into my head the more that I was hanging around some of these CrossFit people at, at the Reebok thing, and you realize the CrossFit is all about, um, you know, what can you do in this minute versus what you did last time, and then you're also not only competing against yourself and what you did last time, but then, you know, of course, against the people that are on your team. I don't know if I'm saying that right, because again, I haven't been to an official CrossFit gym, but you see what I'm saying? It takes away this whole, like, um, only looking at your success by the size of your jeans or only looking at your success by what you weigh. Start looking at the little accomplishments and like, like I told you, the very fact that I recorded my measurements at the beginning of this, um, my working out with Val, and the fact that I was, you know, you have to be precise down to a half an inch because if you lose a fourth of an inch, that's still a fourth of an inch that you lost. And compared to how much, you know, if you only have two inches to lose and you lost a quarter of an inch, that's a lot. If you have 50 pounds to lose and you lost 10, that's freaking great. You know, start looking at things in a different way. Start chunking things up and, and looking at yourself like you're your own science experiment. And I hope that sounds 
better and that worked like it could be interpreted but it's really helping me like it's really making me look forward to my workouts it's really um, kind of making it exciting because and, and, and with food you know I'm like what can I try this week that I haven't tried do you think I ever would have thought six months ago I'd be eating tempa I still feel funny when I'm pronouncing that do you think I'd ever be able to say that I just up and quit coffee do you think I'd ever I mean all of those things you know, it's, it's been more like I'm just testing myself and then you do it and you're like, okay, this is how this affects me, this is how this affects me. And it makes it more like a much more long, ongoing thing too, because you're also not like, it, it's not about uh, some crazy fad diet, you're, you, you keep testing things and then that doesn't work or maybe this has that result so you tweak it and then you it, you just keep going and it gives you something to keep doing and tweaking and adjusting and you're constantly observing yourself and again it becomes more about what you're capable of as opposed to what do I weigh does that make sense and then along the way just today this is my mom my mom was walking behind me and she goes Kelly you are losing weight and I was like thank you of course I, there's a sign on my back that says please mom tell me I lost weight Anyway, I gotta go do some loafing, um, but I wanted to come here and say that because it was on my mind earlier, and also I realized I haven't vlogged in a while, and I didn't want you to think I disappeared. So um, I will talk to you guys a little bit later, and have a good Sunday.